In this lecture, I'm going to show you how to use the catch node. So the catch node is able to catch errors throws by any node or all nodes in the same tab or in the same flow. And then you can get uh, the error message out of it and uh, process it. In this example, I'm going to print it out into the uh, debug window. So uh, let's have a quick look at the documentation because uh, the catch node does not output a message object instead it outputs an error object and inside the error object you've got attributes such as the message which contains a complete error message and a few other things so in your debug node you need to look for values inside the error object instead of the message object so here i'm grabbing the message attribute out of the error object to display it on the debug window now uh, i'm simulating a error actually uh, i have introduced an error in my javascript here and as you can see i've got my three variables message one two and three but then in the return statement i am returning the message four object which of course does not exist when I deploy this flow, it looks all good, no error messages to be returned. But then when I trigger the function, an error message is produced, it's caught by the catch node, passed onto the debug node, and that prints it out so that I can see it. Message for is not defined. So I can go ahead and fix it like that and redeploy now it all works so it's a good idea to keep one of those in all of your flows under each tab just in case you've got functions that contain typos or errors uh, that otherwise will not be reported